How do you know you've got a soul? The Bible says we've got a soul or a spirit, whatever you prefer. Maybe they're slightly different. Maybe they're the same. I don't know. The Bible says you've got a soul. But how do we know if we, if we put the Bible to one side for a moment, how do we know we've got a soul? Well, we're all made of chemicals. There's enough iron in you to make a nail about so big. There's enough sulfur in you to kill all the fleas on a dog. There's enough phosphorus in you to put the tips on about 2,000 matches. There's enough fat in me to make about five or six bars of soap. But is that all we are? A bunch of chemicals. Because the new atheism and the old atheism says that's all we are is our chemicals. Our, it's materialistic. All we are is the physical. There is no spiritual. But in 1975, I went on a blind date. Uh, I was invited by a guy I worked with, a mate, uh, to go out with his wife's sister. And it was interesting, I talked to my wife the other day uh, about it uh, because I said, if I'd been a tidy bloke, a nice guy, we'd never have met. Because I was invited on this blind date, I already had a girlfriend. But I said, yes. And I went on this blind date and met this young lady who I've been married to now for 40 odd years. But the point is this. After we'd be going, going out together for a while, of course I was going out with both of them for a while, there we are, that's another story. But eventually, something happened that I wanted to get married to this lady. It wasn't that I went up to her and said, can I just say I'm very happy with the sulphur content in your body. Now something happened that wasn't physical, wasn't just material, somewhere deep inside, my soul was moved, stirred, I fell in love. You have a soul, I have a soul. That soul was created by God for you to know God. Do you know him? Amen. Thank you.